Welcome. My name's Anna Watts from Celebration of Birth. I'm an independent childbirth educator and a doula. I've been working with pregnant women and their partners for the last 20 years. Today, we're going to go through the natural process of birth and what to expect during your labor and the birth of your baby. Commonly, there are three stages of labor which people refer to, and you might read that in books, and those stages are the first stage, the active stage of labor, the second stage, which is the pushing stage, pushing the baby out through the birth canal, and the third stage, which is the delivery of the placenta and the completion of the birth process. I actually like to think there's five stages. So the stage I'm going to talk about first is pre-labor, and that's the lead up into the first stage. And then we have another stage, which I call transition, and that's between the first and second stages. So the beginning is pre-labor, the first signs of labor beginning. So here's the baby. My baby's called Florence and she's here floating in amniotic fluid. So she would be in about a litre and a half of fluid. And at this stage, at the end of the pregnancy, she's not going to be moving too much because she's a nice tight fit inside there. And she can move around, but not as much as she did earlier in the pregnancy. So I'm actually going to take Florence out of the amniotic sac or the membranes. This is what's called the membranes. And we're going to have a look at how she might be sitting in the pelvis. And so inside here is her umbilical cord and that's attaching her to the placenta. So she's been playing with her umbilical cord for the whole pregnancy. So let's look at some of the positions that Florence might be sitting at the end of the pregnancy. And the woman's body is made perfectly for the baby to snuggle in really nicely into the pelvis. If you think about the word of transition, it means moving from one stage to the next. So it's like a bridge. It's a bridge between two different states. So the state of active labor and the state of pushing your baby down through the birth canal. So just knowing this can help you move through this phase and get ready to meet your baby. She's working her way down through the birth canal, down and back, and you're focusing your energy on getting ready to meet your baby. And then we come to a point where we'll begin to see a little bit of the baby's head, and that's what's called on view. The baby's head comes on view, and then as she moves back, it'll move back a little way, and then we see a little bit more of the baby's head Sometimes you can see hair at the top of the baby's head. As she gently moves down, gradually coming more and more out into the world. This is a lovely time for the mum to actually reach down and perhaps touch the top of your baby's head. and Make that first connection with your baby. And baby's going to continue on down until her head is what we call crowns. And when the head is crowned, the perineum is stretched beautifully around top of baby's head. And the head isn't going to go back again now. So she's just making her way forward and into the world now as she gently comes through. And with the next contraction or two, out will come the head and she will emerge into the world and she'll be turning to the side. And this is a natural reflex that the baby has to turn to the side. At this stage, the head might be there and you're waiting for the next contraction to push the baby's body out into the world. Sometimes baby even has her eyes open at this point. She's not breathing yet. She's still receiving oxygen through the umbilical cord, through the placenta. So when she emerges out into the world, the contact of the air with her chest is going to help her to take her first breath. And with the next push, out she will slide, out will her shoulders slide. And here she comes out into the world. <laughs>